Oh, this guy's nose diving. Hey guys, it's Shane here from Laser Gaming, and in this video, Battlefield 5's developers confirmed some stuff about suppression in the game, and it seems like pretty good news. I'm actually really excited for this. Uh, this is information that we had never gotten before. I know YouTube had information on it. No one else had information on it, and it just released this morning um, via just a response on a forum um, from David Serland. Um, and this is basically because the developers were still working on it and deciding what they were going to do with it. But it seems like they decided um, the direction they were going because the gameplay is coming out pretty soon for EA Play. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more content on everything Battlefield 5 and to be entered in my giveaway every month. All you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment with a way to contact you if you win. I'll pick a random winner from any video on this month and you'll win a $20 PlayStation, Xbox, or Steam gift card. I'm also doing the Battlefield 5 giveaway so that you can get early access to the beta, and I'll do that just a couple weeks before the beta, so stay tuned to the channel for that. So basically, uh, Penta Hormigas, sorry for mispronouncing that name, asked, there's no reliable source of information for how suppression works, just developer's direct info. And then Tigger says, oh, suppression discussion? Question mark, it's only audio slash visual no effect on your weapon handling. So in Battlefield 1, suppression would, and pretty much Battlefield 4 as well, suppression would make your gun sway more, it would make your spread increase, it would overall just make it harder for you to shoot your gun and sort of remain on target. But Battlefield 5 seems to be doing away with a lot of those mechanics that were lower skills, such as random spread, bullet deviation, and that kind of stuff. It just seems likely that they were going to do away with suppression as well. Some people support it, but the majority of the community are against suppression and they think that it should be removed from the game. So it's really cool that they're doing this. This means that when you suppress, it'll just be visual. So it'll mean your screen might get a little blurry and stuff like that, but your weapon will still be 100% on target. This is big news because it'll make the game a lot higher skill and it'll reward the player who can actually hit their shots and not the player who's just shooting in their general direction. Tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comment section. I am just super hyped for this. This is one of the best news we've heard of this game, along with the no bullet deviation or spread. The only issue is that it may hurt the support class a little bit, whose one of their main roles was to suppress enemies with their LMG fire. However, there is still visual suppression, so if you're suppressing them a lot, it may still make it hard for them to shoot, but a good player will likely be able to see through that. Tell me what you guys think about this down below in the comment section. Do you think removing suppression was good, bad? Do you think it'll hurt the support class? Or do you think it's just the best thing they could do for the game? Uh, if you guys are new here, again, don't forget to subscribe down below. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.